Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and I wanted to walk you through setting up an Airport Express, an Airport Time Capsule, or an Airport Extreme for the first time. I just got a new time capsule, as you may have seen in one of my videos, and I thought I'd walk you through the first setup. So I've just plugged it in, I plugged in my connections properly to my internet provider, and what you can see here is I have an iPad. This is the iPad Mini, and you can set it up completely from here. Now you could do it on a Windows computer if you needed to. You can also do it on an iPhone or an iPod Touch. But we're going to use the iPad. So we're going to go to Settings and we're going to go to Wi-Fi. Under Wi-Fi, you're going to see it will pop up, set up an airport base station. So we'll tap on that and it's going to gather information about our network here. And it identified it's an airport base station. It's pretty straightforward, works really, really simply. And this says it's joining Linksys. It's an open network near me, but that's not really what I wanted to do. So we'll wait for it here, just a moment. Now you can see it's given me some options. We have create a new network, recommended, network, device, and it asks me to create a password. I don't want it to be called Aaron's Wi-Fi network. In fact, I want it to be called, I have a specific name I use. I just call it, my last name is Zolo. Just call it ZFAM or for Z family. I'll create a password. Once I have my password in place, I'll just hit next. Sure, you can save it. Now, now my iPad mini can access the device easily. It's going to take a moment, so it's starting update, verifying my network connections. And it will take just a moment. Now it says waiting for internet access. It says this base, base station cannot access the internet. Cycle the power on your router or cable modem or your DSL or cable modem. So I'll go do that. Now I've cycled my cable modem in this case and you can see it automatically began the setup process again. Now it's going to try and join the network and once it does that we should be able to configure certain things such as router password as far as our Wi-Fi network is concerned. You can see it just changed up here as well. Now it says setup is complete. We'll hit done. And we'll join our network. It's going to take a moment to join. And once it's joined, we can use the airport utility app to further set up our router. I've opened the airport utility app and you can see this was my current network before. I had an airport express and an old time capsule here. We're going to forget this network and we'll forget this one and then we'll wait for it to connect and find the new connection. And it has, there's my airport base station. We'll tap on this and then we can configure it through here. And then we can hit edit in the upper right and this will allow us to edit things further. What we wanna do is we have the guest network off. Now you can have a guest ne network on so you could have an open network with a guest name that can't access your other information but I'm not going to use that. You can see we also have advanced under advanced, we have all sorts of different settings for IPv6, dynamic global host name, port settings, printers, all sorts of things. You could use the USB port on the back for a printer, and we'll cancel that for now. So we're going to go to network, and under network, we want our WPA personal security. That's what I want to use here. And then we have our network and our network password. Now the network password originally is going to be set up as the password for the router itself. I want it to be something different. So you can see I have a very long password. It's set up. I'll hit done. Hit done. I'm going to update. It's going to take a moment. It's going to restart the base station and then we'll be all set. You can see now I'm connected to the airport base station and it's green so I'm pretty much done as far as that goes. Now I can connect all my devices to it and set up any extended networks I may want to do later. If you have any questions or comments, please place those in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.